What's up guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group and in this tutorial I would like to show you how to create custom subheader which depending on the page on which it is displayed uh, will be filled with the title and the featured image of that page. For this purpose I will be using the dynamic data so if you didn't have any chance to meet with this feature and you basically don't know what is it I will leave you the link down there in the description. All right, so let's move on to the specifics. I will start from creating the global section. To do this, I have to go to theme plates. And this is basically the place where I have all the theme plates like header, footer, mega menu, etc. But right now I have to create the global section. So all I have to do is click the add new button. And from the drop down list, I have to select the global section and just name it so I will call it, uh, sorry, custom subheader. Okay, and this is where I can start uh, to create the custom subheader from. Uh, you may wonder why I used, why I just want to use uh, the global sections. Uh, it's because I want to create this section uh, once and later populate it across all pages where I would need it. All right, so let's get back to creating our custom subheader. Okay, so uh, the first I will create the section and inside the section I will create a wrap. Just one more thing I forgot about. Uh, I, I would like to show you uh, the subheader I would like to create. It's gonna be just like this one. You can actually see on my screen where you have the underwear title and the small uh, caption above that says be lingering. And this is basically what I would like to create in this tutorial. All right, so let's get back to uh, our global section. Uh, so I have added the section and the wrap. And now I would like to uh, add some padding between the wrap uh, and uh, the section. So to do this, I have to go to the advanced tab of the section and in the spacing tab, I will add some extra padding. The most important thing I need right now is uh, the background image. So uh, to populate uh, this uh, custom global section, uh, which will be a subheader with the featured image, uh, from a specific page, I have to go to the advanced background tab and click on the small dynamic data which is located next to the image option. After a click, you will see some options that you can set, but uh, for my custom subheader, I need the featured image. All right, so what you actually see is just an illustrative picture which shows you uh, that for the background, you will have the featured image of the specific page. As I want this image to be covered, I will set the size to cover. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Okay, so the next things I need uh, is the small heading and the large heading. This is what I shown you on this example. Right, so uh, let's add the small heading first. It's gonna be H6. Also what I need to do is change its name as well. What else I can set is I would like it to be centered. Uh, let's maybe set the background color to be white and also because I would like the background to be just behind the text and not across the whole wrap. And the dimensions tab I have to change the width to inline. That's perfect. The other thing I need to set as well is some left and right padding for this caption uh, to make it look a bit better. So let's maybe add, sorry, not the top one, but 10 pixels for the right and 10 pixels for the left. Perfect. Right, let's add the other heading just underneath the first one. And this can stay H2. 
And what I actually want uh, for this heading is I would like it to be populated with page title. So I will remove the default uh, title and I will click on this dynamic data button again. And from the list, I have to select the title, the template title. And as soon as I click it, you will see that um, our dynamic data will be replaced with custom subheader. It's because uh, this is the name of the template uh, which we are actually working on. Uh, you remember when I was creating the global section, I called it custom subheader. And this is what exactly uh, shown right now here. Uh, all right, so let's style it a bit. I want it to be centered as well, just like above small caption. And I think that's basically what I wanted to achieve for this custom subheader. All right, so we can update our template and we are ready to go with our custom subheader. Okay, so what I want to show you right now is how to populate this already created custom subheader across any page you like. So the first thing we need to do is get back to WordPress and create a new page or just uh, edit any page you have on the list. I actually have such page, it's called test page. So I will go to edit it with the B Builder. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is the page I've been working on for the other tutorial and it's populated with some query loops for the products. Uh, but uh, this is where I would like to put my custom subheader. Uh, I will add a new section and right now I have to click on this global sections button because as you remember, uh, the custom subheader I built with global section, right? Uh, on the left side, you can see right now some uh, global sections uh, and the one I've already created is custom subheader. Let's select it then. Okay, as you can see, uh, there is just a small caption here, but there is no background because I probably forgot to set the featured image for that page. So I will update this page with uh, the data I actually populated here, so I won't lose it. And right now, I have to get back to WordPress and edit this page to, yes, to set the featured image, which is actually uh, the native WordPress uh, function. So let's click on the set featured image and let's choose the image I've uploaded uh, this morning. All right, we can update this page right now and as soon as I will get back to the Bibbler at uh, the place where we've been working on and I will refresh this page, just as I thought, I should have the image I just set. As you can see, uh, the custom subheader on this page is populated with the background image set as featured image. It also has the title test page. So it's basically the one you can see actually here. And we have this uh, little heading above, uh, which was a fixed text. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I shed some light how interesting the dynamic data in combination with global sections can be. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.